tenth problem so in this problem they said that in the given figure l is parallel to m find the unknown angles so they have given the two lines l and m both are parallel and we need to find out the unknown angles so one of the angle it is given as 65 degrees and we don't know g f e a b c d okay so let us find out those angles so first of all we will write down what is given information so they have given that since here line l is parallel to m <clears throat> So L is parallel to M and one of the angle is given and with the help of that we can find we can write angle F is equals to 65 degrees and the reason here is <coughs> vertically opposite angles we know that vertically opposite angles are equal so in front of f we are having 65 so f and 65 both will be equal next <clears throat> so here the position of f and the position of c the position of them both are same that means we can say them as corresponding angles so let us write down angle c is equals to angle F and angle F we know that it is 65 degrees because corresponding angles so corresponding angles are equal corresponding angles next now we are having F and C and in front of C we are having A. So let us write down angle A is equals to 65 because these are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Next, we know that the sum of angle E and 65 will give us 180 degrees since they are they are forming the linear pair. Okay, this is forming a linear pair, so this is angle E. So let us write down angle E plus 65 degrees is equals to. 180 degrees because it is a linear, linear pair. So let us send the 65 degrees to that side. So angle E is equals to 180 degrees minus 65. So angle E is equals to now if we subtract 5 from 10 we will get 5 and 7 minus 6 is 1 so 115 angle E is 115 so angle G angle G is exactly opposite to angle E and we know that angle E is 115 so let us write down vertically vertically opposite angles next now we are having G G and D both are equal let us write down that angle D is equals to angle G and G is 100 and 115 degrees okay because corresponding
corresponding angles are equal next <clears throat> angle e and b so let us write down angle b is equals to angle e that is 115 degrees and these are also corresponding angles so here we are having all the angles hence angle A is equals to 65 degrees angle B is equals to 115 degrees angle C is equals to 65 degrees angle D is equals to 150 degrees angle E is equals to 115 degrees angle F angle F is equals to angle F is how much 65 so 65 degrees angle G is equals to 115 degrees.